Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Today we are back with a huge update for the Unicore QED golf launch monitor. So I've covered the QED uh, extensively in the channel. Uh, early on before the new IXO was released, uh, the QED was the initial unit that Unicore launched here in the US. And this is a overhead launch monitor using high speed cameras and infrared, sits about three and a half feet or exactly three and a half feet behind the ball, okay? Overhead using marked ball technology, all right, which I'll show you guys real quick. As long as I can get that to focus in for you guys, you'll notice that there are, uh, there's a dot pattern, a three dot pattern on the ball, okay? And that is using uh, the camera infrared technology to be able to track the spin, all right? And the launch angle, and the ball speed, things along those lines. Now, something that was being used in the system before was a uh, camera technology showing your swing path, and it was giving you a few data points for uh, club, okay, such as club head speed or your club path, all right? Now, those data points were more estimated because of the lack of ability to track the club precisely, all right? So since then, Unicore has actually released an update for the QED system, allowing for usage of stickers, all right? So if you notice on my club, and I'll try to let this focus in again, all right? Uh, let me just go ahead and hit this button so it'll put, there we go, nice and crisp. See that sticker on the top of my club? That is a reflective sticker, all right? That they have updated the software for uh, the ability of the unit to properly track the club, all right? Giving you more of a precise measurement on club head speed and path and face angle, all right? I have hit a few shots on the system, uh, looks to be working well, and I wanna give you guys just a kind of brief overview of that along with a few other updates that you're going to see inside of your Ignite software uh, once you do the patch update or if you're installing a new system so you understand uh, what's going to be available, all right? So let's go ahead and just go over to uh, our computer really quick so we can look at the Ignite software. I'll go ahead and take the camera down, all right? The first thing I'm gonna do is, is right here on this main screen, you're going to see that now you have a sticker on button right there, where if you want ball data only, you can do so. If you wanna use the sticker off, and if you wanna do sticker on, all right, those are all different selections. Now we're gonna be doing sticker on today because we have that sticker on the top of the club and you can see that I already hit a shot uh, just to verify that everything was up and running before we got started here. And you can see that I have my face to path, my face angle, my club path and my club speed all properly displayed uh, right below our swing path video, all right? Um, I will also take you into the settings for a new update that you will see. So let's go ahead and open up our settings tab. Uh, I'm also going to demo the Logitech Brio for you guys, uh, something people have been asking about, uh, you know, a low cost alternative for a built-in swing camera. Uh, and this is the camera I've been using. Some people are asking what it is. Uh, I'll show that to you guys again today. But notice down here where it says altitude. So they have now given you the ability to adjust the altitude for wherever you are, okay? So here uh, near my home is 782 feet. I get that from my local airport. I have put that in for altitude, so it makes an adjustment for that. So if you're in an area that has 5,000 feet uh, above sea level, um, you can go ahead and input that and get your correct carry distances, all right? So I thought that was really cool that they added that as a feature. And we can go ahead and now uh, exit out of the settings, all right? And I'll go ahead and give you guys a demonstration shot using the new reflective sticker. I have a pitching wedge in hand, I should mention. So let's go ahead. I'm not making crazy swings or anything today, just demonstration uh, to show you guys the new updates and what to expect. Feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think, any questions you have. That was a pretty good swing for me. 127 carry, that's about all my pitching wedge. Face to path was negative 3.1, face angle 1.8, club path 4.9, all right, and club speed 81.2. Now what I'll do for you guys is now that you know that club data that has been outputted, 
All right, let's go ahead and look at the path so you can kind of take a look at that face to path versus what they're showing you. Now, I have an end out swing, I know that. So when it's telling me I was 4.9 end out down in my data tile down here, um, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident that that's, that's going to be the proper data because I know my swing, all right? I'm actually working on getting that uh, a little more square, but you can see the club coming from the inside. Now notice as you can see the sticker, and we can actually uh, bring that image up larger for you guys. Why don't we go to club path here? All right, and now I'll go ahead and bring that in. There you go, there's impact, a little towards the heel. And then there's the ball taking off. All right, so all of these tabs up here, if you guys are not familiar with them, all right, um, I'm under the club path, uh, path tab right now. You have a physic panel, which gives you all of these tiles that you can actually rearrange. All right, and I go over a lot of this in my initial uh, video. If you haven't seen it yet on the Unicore QED, make sure you check that out. It's in the channel. I actually have a playlist for the QED. All right, but that's the club path. All right, and then swing motion that I was mentioning to you guys. So I'm using a Logitech Brio. All right, so let me go ahead and bring that replay up for you guys. All right, so here we are, because I don't think I turned the camera back on for the swing. So there's the swing that I just made, all right? And you'll notice that for $199, I believe is the retail on the Logitech Brio, uh, it's actually a decent reference image. Now, I understand that if you're looking for more of a high-end, you know, no, no motion blur camera, all right, um, I'm going to recommend the swing optics system that Unicore offers, all right? It uh, integrates well within the system. I have a video on that as well, which you can check out in the channel, but, uh, you know, it obviously is a much higher-end system. Uh, I believe the retail price on that is $19.95, all right, so two grand. Um, it comes with the two cameras and necessary cabling, all right? You just need to get some lighting, which I can help you with. If you want to reach out and email me, let me know. Um, I can advise you on all of that, all right? Um, I have it working and dialed in quite well. But uh, yeah, let's take one more look at the Logitech Brio swing camera, all right? And I, I just think that for someone that is looking for more budget-friendly, uh, you know, you can get reference points here. If someone was looking, saying, hey, you know, I'm trying to get a, a straight arm, all right? Um, or if you were trying to, let's go ahead and rewind that really quick. I always use this example. If you were trying to uh, draw around someone's head to see how much it, it moved, all right? Now, I mean, even with this camera, I can do that, all right? So it really is a uh, very budget-friendly camera that gives you general reference, okay? So you obviously have your front and then your side and then your top view, okay? And actually creates clusters after you start hitting multiple balls. Um, but I won't go too far in depth on all that. The whole purpose today was to give you guys a, uh, let me go ahead and bring this back up. All right, give me one second. I'm bringing, there we go, bringing my camera back up. The whole purpose of today's video was to show you guys uh, the update in the QED system that was released, all right? Uh, I should say Ignite, that's the software. And just so you guys understand, um, when you purchase a Unicore system, whether it be the QED or the IXO, that base package includes their, they call club fitting software, okay? Or the base software, all right? So in this case, it's Ignite. With the IXO, it's called View, all right? So um, from there, there are two levels above that, both Refine and Succeed. Now those are the simulation software upgrades that you can uh, do with either system. So it's called Refine or Succeed, whether it be on the QED or the IXO. All right, I have demonstrations of those in the channel, so make sure you check those out. And as always, if you guys are looking to purchase the system, I encourage you to email me. I have fantastic partners that I can hook you up with. They take awesome care of my viewers. Make sure you get all the information, the best customer service and pricing available, all right? So um, today we looked at the Unicore QED latest Ignite update for club sticker and club data uh, information, as well as the ability to adjust altitude inside the Ignite software. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned for more videos coming on all kinds of hardware and software, and we'll talk to you soon.